Hi, my loves, and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium oracle prophetess. So, if you're new here, welcome in, my loves. We are a high vibe tribe, a pillar of light channel. And those of you guys returning again, welcome back, okay? Um, if you are here and you found this message, you found the channel, the channel found you, then you are definitely here for a reason. I'm starting off today with the uh, Tea Leaf Oracle fortune telling deck. Um, I haven't used it in a while, but I'm being guided to use it today for the collective. Um, today is the 3rd of December, 2022, but of course this reading is timeless as time is an illusion, um, right? It's just something that humans made up. Um, but to make time linear, right? Which we know time is not linear. Everything is happening simultaneously all at once. I feel like that's a big message for you guys to remember at this time um, is, you know, future timelines and all that, even though it's future, is it really though? Or is it just a, another timeline that's happening, right? Simultaneously right now at this time. So what I'm getting here is um, whatever wish fulfillment timelines that you have been manifesting, um, whatever that looks like for you, a dream job, a dream, you know, home, um, it could be health. Maybe you, you know, have been suffering with some kind of illness or a disease or right. And you're, you're, you're manifesting, uh, you know, a healing or a miracle or things of that nature. That's what the energy is that I feel right now is coming in. And again, these timelines, it's like, it's all happening at once. So it's really like a buffet of timelines for me is what I'm getting. And when I said that and looked up a minute ago or a second ago, it was one, four, four. See, this is about the, the, the chosen ones, the light workers, the star seeds, the empaths, the psychics, the, the witches, the, the, the warlocks, the, right? And when I say, when I say that, I mean it with, with light, there is no, um, no manipulation of energy on this channel and i certainly don't support that right there's really bad jujus connected to that kind of stuff okay um but it's it's all about prosperity and abundance and today um on the third tonight right we have neptune going direct okay so poseidon i posted it on my community page too um a, a meme that i got from instagram um it's an account i believe called magical recipes um, but it's all about Poseidon and the energy that Poseidon brings and what Neptune brings. It's very whimsical. It's very dreamy. It literally is an energy of your wildest dreams coming to the surface at this time, coming in at this time. These wish fulfillment timelines are coming in at this time. It's all like lining up. Okay. It's about integration of timelines. Let's just say that. All right. So Neptunian energy is going to be very big. The bell just flew out. It's an announcement. See, ding, 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 ding. I have an announcement to make. Okay, some of you guys are going to be um, in an energy of making announcements. And what I'm seeing is like people saying congratulations. There's celebration here. Um, hold on one moment, my love. Hold on one second. Okay, so sorry you guys, but I'm channeling and I was like dying of heat right now and, and it was, I had to turn down the heater in the house. Um, <laughs> I was like, why is it so hot in here? I'm dying of heat and I get hot when I channel anyways, but it's like winter time basically. It's, today it's very overcast. Okay, it was overcast yesterday too and it's rainy and it's windy and there's leaves everywhere and oranges and yellows and the street covered and all of it. It's so beautiful cracks me up though um when i see like my neighbors like outside like the, I, I saw an elderly man um you know i was kind of like oh my gosh honey why 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 are you doing that literally it was windy gusty leaves blowing rain and he's out there with his his leaf blower <laughs> i'm like oh my god <laughs> You poor thing are you confused oh i want to help you you know what i mean and then my other neighbor literally like the leaves are sopping wet we had like a good amount of rain and we all know that when leaves are wet right they're heavier they stick and she's out there blowing the wet leaves and i'm just like watching her blow these leaves that are like sticking to the ground in the middle of a uh rainstorm so 
we will be seeing more of this kind of energy, you guys. You know, I'm just using that as an example, um, kind of random. Um, but it's people doing weird shit, all right? It's just stuff that doesn't make sense, weird stuff. You guys might be seeing a lot of that yourselves right now. Um, and it's, it's, it's just the energy, okay? But anyways, going back to this, the announcement. I have an announcement to make. You guys are going to be announcing um, positive news the bell. Okay. This is like an alarm. Someone's ringing the bell, sound the alarm. Um, the bells are ringing. I'm also getting wedding bells. This is like wedding bells. I'm here. Come. Okay. I'm getting that as well. So beautiful energy. Okay. For some reason, these just fell out, but they're saying to take them. So let's see April. Okay. I'm, I'm getting that April could be somebody's name. I think I channeled that out the other day in a reading as well. Um, might have been a personal reading, but I don't think it was. I think it was, a, I was channeling out the name April. But April, this time of year, you know, it could be Aries, Taurus energy as well. Um, I feel like by April, a lot of you guys this spring see all the fresh blooms. Okay, I feel like this is the time of announcements for you. You're gonna, it's, it's all coming in at this time, but like over the next like four or five months or whatever. Um, and again, whenever you find this reading, you just put that time whenever you find it, right? Um, a lot of you guys will be engaged. You'll be, you know, uh, there's fertility here. You'll be getting pregnant. Um, it's just beautiful announcements. Again, I'm seeing wedding bells. Some of you guys might choose to, um, elope. You, you, you meet someone or, or, you know, uh, maybe someone, uh, a twin flame or a past life soulmate, someone that you're, you've been connected to comes in or comes back into your life. And it just, it's momentum. Okay. I'm just getting a lot of forward momentum, fast moving momentum, positive announcements. Um, and then you have the chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. Holy shit. I didn't even realize that's what that said. You guys. Okay. So someone new entering your life, okay, that is the announcement also. Some of you guys are going to be meeting someone very new or someone comes in with a new energy, all right? The heart, great happiness. See, my loves, look at this, the angels are singing. The heart, great happiness is entering your life. That's exactly what I said, the announcement. You know, an announcement could be anything. It could be a, a negative announcement, right? It could be, right, some kind of, but this is something good. This is something good and I felt that. And now we have the heart, great happiness is entering your life. And then the ink pot, problems to be resolved. Okay, so there's an ink pot that has spilled. So there's like a stain. I feel like, you know, you left a stain in someone's life, like in a good way though. Like you left a mark on, like you, you left an imprint on their soul. You left a mark on their life. I feel like at this time though, you guys are imprinting and, and leaving your, your mark on a lot of people around you, okay? With the ink also, I'm seeing like contracts being signed. Um, so it could be, again, like a wedding certificate. It could be um, a new, you know, uh, a contract for a new job or, a, you know, I, I don't know, but I'm getting that, like signing paperwork for sure. Um, and what I'm seeing is like, it's like a saying, I can't like think of the saying right now, but it's like the ink is already dry or the ink, you know what I mean? Like the ink is already dry on the paper, but sometimes people will say, gosh, the ink hasn't even um, dried on the paper and you're already doing this, you know? Um, that could be like someone talking about like, gosh, like we just signed our divorce papers and you're already getting married to someone else. You know, it could be something like that or, you know, um, a family member passes away and, and it's like people are fighting over the inheritance or something like that, right? And it's like, gosh, like, you know, like it's, they haven't even been laid to rest, you know, and you're already fighting and squabbling over that. That's kind of what I'm getting to. But, um, but you guys are like a peacemaker in, in whatever way sh you could be a Libra. Cause that's very much a Libra in energy. Um, I am a Libra, so I know, <laughs> right? Like we are the peacemakers. We are the balance. We are the harmony. Um, we are the truth. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. So Libra energy could be relevant to you. Also, um, if it is Libra energy, the opposite of Le of October in the, you know, like Libra energy is, is that April energy. Okay. All right. So, wow, my loves. Okay, so from this time, Neptune. Okay, so let's go back to Poseidon. Spirit, give me the energies around what Neptune going direct is bringing in for the collective. Show me the fortune, the tulip. It's great passion. Holy shit, you guys. This is just right on the money, this reading. On point, on point, on point, right? 
of course if you have been here you guys know that it is the cards always back me up but like this is just like nailing it every you know and and the person that maybe is coming in maybe they're born in april um or they are an aries or a taurus or whatever okay great passion though great passion and great happiness is entering your life you're going to be making huge announcements guess what we're engaged guess what my my twin flame confessed their love to me and we are in union now guess what I'm pregnant. Guess what? I got the job. Guess what? They want to give me a pay raise and this and this and this, right? It's all this kind of energy. And um, truly, like I said before, these very, um, the wish fulfillment timelines are here. Okay. Again, simultaneously happening at once. So my loves, if you, if you want this, right, which looks like for many of you guys, that's what's coming in. Keep doing, keep up the good work. Um, but act as if live as if right you're already on that timeline because in a sense you are does that make sense all right so great passion great happiness the angels are playing music with the harp energy too again with the wedding bells i'm seeing for some of you guys a beautiful intimate very low-key wedding with harp player like a harp player or harp music and i'm also seeing a violinist like violin music okay very you know um very romantic, very low key though, okay, is what I'm seeing. Okay, so for whoever that's for, all right, again, claim it. Whatever I channel out, if that's you, you claim it, my loves. I claim that message. I claim this part of the reading. I claim this reading. Okay. Ooh, hello. Grapes. Time to go out and have fun. Oh, and then the gong. You have the bell and the gong. An exciting event. I told you, my loves, wow. This is why I was called to use the fortune, uh, the tea leaf oracle. And then the leg, stepping into a new experience. Wow, 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 you guys. Great passion, great happiness, announcements being made, um, lots of blooming, fresh, springtime kind of energy. This is all new, fresh, fertile energy is what I'm getting here. Um, your problems are being resolved in a big, big way. I just posted a, a reading, oh, was it yesterday morning? Or the day before about Kali Ma. She came to me very vividly and um, she was dancing around like a ring of fire and the message was for the collective that all your injustices are being handled and you are justice is being served to you at this time. This right here is confirming that message again for me, okay? Your problems are being resolved. Your injustices are being resolved. You are receiving your good justices, your 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 balanced energy let's just say that okay good karma an exciting new event great something has taken a while to to grow it's about harvest the fruits of your labor okay like a fine wine some of you guys you could be um you know it could be like your your sagittarius season um you could be a sagittarius this could be about your birthday going out and having fun or you're just being called to go out and have fun right now okay some of you guys are being called to go out, get out, go, you know, what I'm getting here is if you get an invitation to go somewhere with friends or don't be a hermit, say yes, say yes, <laughs> I'll say yes to the dress, say yes to the invite, say yes to the date, say yes to the, the going out because there's something here with some of you guys where you, you step out and you, you, you open up your, yourself in that way a little bit and boom, the universe lines you up with your perfect partner, perfect match, a perfect opportunity, whatever it is. Okay. All right. And the leg stepping into a new experience. Yeah, indeed. You guys are definitely stepping into these beautiful experiences at this time. All right. Okay. I'm getting also, um, a very, like sexy vibe here like i know this is like a it looks like a man's leg kind of right but i'm getting here that like it's like your body your legs um you know your your sense of style the way you dress um you know just everything about you is like very intriguing to someone here okay um whether this is someone new or you know someone who already connect to but i am getting that all right, so we have the jug, lighthearted and carefree time this is beautiful energy there's not like any negative energy here Then you have the bull. I did mention with April that there could be Aries or Taurus energy. And now we have the bull, which is Taurus. Okay, so someone is taking life by the horns. Okay, it's like you mess with the bull, you get the horns. 444 four, four on the timestamp when I look up. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Okay, so any kind of opposing forces at this time, you, you stand your ground. 
You stand your ground. You stand in your power. You do not back down. For many of you guys, that's that's like what they're saying here is like you guys haven't backed down. You guys have been standing in your power. You've been standing in your truth. Um, you have not been backing down from opposition, but you've been coming from a loving place. Trust me, I get that, you guys. Um, I get pushed back all the time, you know, things of that nature. And um, I shouldn't say all the time, but enough, right? But you guys, like you guys know me, like I tap my heart and I send people love. That is how we heal, okay? We don't we don't fight. We don't fight anger and fear and resentment with more anger and fear and resentment, right? We transmute it with love and light. That's how we do it, right? That's what I mean. The people here on this channel, this tribe, myself included, we are light warriors. We are of the light of the love, right? So we can definitely be fierce, okay? We can also be very stubborn in our light, right? Okay, we don't back down. We don't back down. The ax forces working against you. Yep, see, there it is. Do not back down from any opposition and any forces working against you are being resolved, okay? Again, going back to my Kali Ma message. Injustices are being handled for you. They are literally axing them out, cutting them away for you, okay? And then bread, a period of prosperity and abundance. My loves, I'm telling you. This is that Neptunian energy. This is that Poseidon energy. It's passion. It is happiness. It's a very beautiful emotional time. It's love. It's wish fulfillments. It's dreams coming true. It's miracles. Bread. You're the breadwinner. You're you're you guys are stepping into a period of prosperity. For some of you guys, you've already stepped into this period of prosperity and it's just growing and growing and growing much like the grapes or a flower or right okay the bread someone views you as a go-getter someone views you as someone who has it all together you have your you know you have your shit together you are a breadwinner you are um you know uh, a leader, you're a way shower. And then we have the woman. All right. So fair woman dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Okay. It doesn't have to be, but there's definitely an energy here for you guys. Some of you guys might look like this, wear your hair like this. This could be someone. I, what I'm actually getting is for some of you guys that it's a, it's a, it's a woman with blondish hair or like a feminine energy here. Um, that is the opposing force. I, I, am, I am getting that someone is kind of watching you with a smug look on their face and they kind of have like a um, chip on their shoulder when it comes to you. And what I'm getting is like, you didn't do anything to this person. It's just you, your energy. Um, and there, you are a mirror for, for some of you guys, you're a mirror to this person and you are reflecting back to this person, all of the shit that they haven't done or that they haven't healed or their shadow, their darkness. Okay. Which is causing them to project and, 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 and send you that evil eye energy. Okay. But again, forces that work against you, they are being handled. Okay. Clarify the fair woman, please. Scissors. Disappointment in some affair. Yeah, see, I told you. Clarifying her is the scissors. Someone is getting cut out or cut out. This could be a karmic connected to um, your divine masculine counterpart. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be your mother. Okay, but for, 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 for some of you guys out there, this is someone who is being cut out they're being axed out. Look at scissors and the ax. They're being cut out, axed out. Um, the forces are working. They're working in your favor and against the favor of the karmic energy. Okay. Is what I'm getting here. Okay. All right. So disappointment in some affair. There could have been an affair here. Okay. I don't know, but I am getting that this person it is not like you. They are pissed. <laughs> That's what I get my loves. But again, we tap our hearts and we send them love career okay it could be about your career too this could be someone that you work with okay that is you know envious of your success your work ethic you know uh you could be you know landing deals getting a lot of um you know recognition at work stuff like that and this person is just like 
why does that always happen for her or why does that always happen for him it's like that how do they get everything and you know da, 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 right well it's because you're in vibrate you're in a high frequency right your reality your reality matches your energy right so anyone who has a shitty reality like that right it's because they've attracted that to them we've all been there at some point or the, or the next right we had to go through the karma we had to learn the lessons we had to heal from the inside out and we had to level up like that right some people don't do that some people wallow they're wallowers right they will just stay in the shit for forever you know um and i'm kind of getting that energy here okay is someone who it's like they see your life transforming and changing and you rising and you you're, you're going to be announcing these beautiful things. You have great passion in your life, happiness. You have a lot of prosperity and abundance here. You have exciting new things happening. Um, you know, you're stepping into new experiences. You're growing, ascending, and it's an energy of someone feeling stuck. Okay. So your career, this is all, um, they could also be envious again of your career. You know, some of you guys, you could be, uh, you know, really going places. You could be influencers, um, you know. It's like someone who has the ability to change their life, but they don't. And instead, they just sit and like sneer at, at you and other people who have what they want in a sense, right? Okay. So whoever that is for you, again, spirit is letting you know, you know, you are protected, but I do suggest, right, wearing evil eye jewelry, um, or having, you know, evil eye around you, um, calling in, you know, support and just extra protection, things of that nature. Okay, here we go. Whoop. The wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. I told you, my loves, that this was connected for some of you guys. It, it doesn't even have to be like a blonde woman, right? It just could be an energy around you. But for a lot of you, it is. It's someone with fair hair um, who, you know, kind of looks like this. Okay. Um, allowing, okay, so this is definitely someone, like I just got done saying, about how you're like stepping into all this energy, and there could be some people around you that see the wheel turning in your favor, but they themselves are allowing their own lives to ramble on aimlessly. They're not really moving. You know, this could also be you guys coming out of this energy. This is what you're stepping into. But I feel like this is just confirming everything that I just got done saying about this other energy, okay? The more that you rise, the more, you know, what I'm seeing is like the more that you are rising at this time too, um, the more friction it's causing with the relationships around you, okay? Because it's not just maybe one person, but there could be other people around you also that just, they see you moving and they feel like they aren't and it's causing, uh, resistance it's causing jealousy it's causing you know them to be uh envious and you know angry and things of that nature right okay bottom of the deck before i switch over is the valley deep personal strength and peace that assure okay sorry about that you guys you guys won't really notice the i had to anyways my um my storage was full so it cut off the video so anyway so um what i was saying though is that this this reading is so beautiful and that the, the valley here and then you have may april and may are going to be big months for a lot of you guys okay and we're already in december you guys that's only four or five months from now and i feel that that's all tied to the harp to this the big announcements the exciting events um all of that now for many of you guys it's also announcements and big news and a passion and all the things at this time because again this is all connected to that neptunian energy the poseidon energy neptune going direct like all that as well um and it's bringing in these wish fulfillments but what i'm saying is like let's say it's love right you you a soulmate comes in at this time and over the next four or five months you guys fall in love you create something beautiful together and boom around springtime or summer or whatever you guys get married you tie the knot you know that's just an example or you find out you're pregnant around this time or you know things like that okay you move in together at this time you know it's all that right but this is deep personal strength and peace that assures success so you are very strong you've grown in a lot of ways okay um you bring strength to other people you bring peace to other people as well um and you are basically being assured that you have success at this time okay that you will have success all right if your heart is in it right your soul is in it it's alignment right and that's success okay all right 
So let's go ahead and get some Mermaid Oracle. This is your message, my loves. Again, claim it as yours, right? For some reason, I'm seeing the movie uh, <laughs> Harry and the Hendersons. Okay, that could be relevant for some of you guys. I don't know. Um, but I'm just kind of, for some reason, I'm getting that. So some of you guys might have just recently watched that. Um, maybe you've been thinking about it. It connects with you and someone. I don't know. But I know it's random, but that's channeling. The Selkie and her skin, reclaiming your authenticity. Wow. You've reclaimed who you are. You're standing in your power. You've reclaimed who you are. You remember who you are on a soul level. Let's just say that, okay? Um, 25 could be relevant. It also breaks down to a seven. Yeah, you're like you've 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 broken out you've broken out of old skins. See how she's like coming out of the skin, the selkie in her skin. Okay, it's like that being like born anew. The present, a gift, treasure, revelation of own value and nowness. Yeah, see, this is all relevant right now in the now. Uh, it's number twelve. It breaks down to a three. In the present moment, you're going to be receiving some kind of good news and communication. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, three, three, three on the timestamp, right? As I say that the the twelve is that three, right? I look up in three, three, three. Although on your guys's end, it's going to be different, right? Because I had to start the video um, over, or whatever. Uh, so there's announcements, passion. There's a gift for you coming in. This is this is the this is that Neptunian energy. It's literally in the present moment bringing you gifts, presents, wish fulfillments, and miracles nowness revelation of own value so you've had revelations of your own value you see your own value you've shed the old skins some people who have known you they don't even recognize you anymore they don't know you anymore in that way because you've changed you've you've ascended you've you've risen in frequency you aren't the same person like you are on on a core level right but on a like you're not that's what I'm getting here too. Someone views you as a gift. They view you as a treasure, their treasure. I'm hearing um, <laughs> Schmeagol Gollum from Lord of the Rings. My precious. That's what I'm getting. You're, you're someone's precious. Someone views you as precious, a treasure, a gift. Okay. Um, as I stop shuffling and look down, I have the song of the siren, the call, a summoning, the voice and to acknowledge. So yeah, you've been calling this in. Someone views you as the siren. The siren's song, the siren's uh, voice, you know, the song of the siren, it's irresistible to um, to anyone on the sea, right? To any sailors, any pirates, any, right? The song of the siren, it calls them in, okay? Puts them under a spell, like a trance even, right? But it's so beautiful, you can't resist it. That's exactly what I was saying about how someone views you. You are so beautiful or you're so handsome, you know, and it's not just even about your looks, it's about everything. They can't resist it. They're being called. You've been calling this in. You've been summoning this in. Okay. Poseidon is here. Neptune showing up, right? And it's saying, you've been calling this in. I've been down in the sea. I've been searching the souls, the depths of the soul, and this is what I have found. And here you go. That's what I'm getting. See, you can't make it up. I said, you've been summoning the sin, calling the sin, right? Some of you guys, um, your voice is actually changing. You're getting more of your angelic like attunements, okay? Like your vocal cords. You weren't able to maybe sing before, and now your notes are changing. Your voice is changing like where you can sing. Trust me, my, my loves, that's a thing, right? It's it's like ascension in all forms, okay? So for some of you guys, your, your voice is changing too. And you are developing a, a voice of the siren, a beautiful angelic, you know, singing voice or whatever, right? Falling in love, kissing the divine in another and in yourself. See, this is exactly, you, you've been calling this in, 
This is the present moment. This is a gift. It is a treasure. Someone views you as a siren, beautiful, uh, you know, very, it's like Empress energy for me also. Um, and boom, there it is falling in love. So all of this energy here ties into like an overall, like everything for you, spirituality, you know, finances, career, uh, you know, all of it, right. Your, your health, um, your, your physical body, uh, but it's also connected to love for sure. Okay. And then right after that is a timeout. So you've, you've been, um, it says awareness, contemplation, solitude, and time alone. You've, you've been spending a lot of time alone and that's fine, but it's time for you to get out, have some fun. You don't have to go out all the time, but spirit is saying like, if you get an invite, if you get a call to go somewhere, like just do it, go have fun. You've been, you've been taking time out for yourself. You've been in solitude. You've been healing. Um, you're, you're working very closely with dragons, um, you know, or the dragons are protecting you. They're clearing your path. And, um, now it's time. It's time. Okay. This could also be time out. Like you've been, someone's been, <clears throat> cause it's an, after falling in love. It's like, there's been a time out between you and someone here for some of you guys. Right. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and just clarify real quick. All right. If you would like to book a personal uh, psychic session with me, you guys, um, I just recently changed my options a little bit. I no longer offer a one hour personal general reading. Um, I do my one hour Akashic readings still, um, but the general readings I am no longer doing one hour, only 30 minutes. And you can find all the info down below um, on how to book and schedule with me, okay? Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands. It's the end of a painful cycle and a new beginning. I mean, that's literally what this means, okay? It's 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 the end of these painful cycles, okay? Swords in your back, you know, all of the stuff, okay? This is what it is now for you. This is what it is now for you. This is also showing me that for some of you guys, this is someone that you had an ending with. They don't want something to end. They want to they wanna spark something up here with you. That's what this is. Whatever it is, they don't want it to end. Energetically, they feel you. It ending energetically. You guys are already could be in separation. Maybe you're in a connection, you know, with someone and it's been dwindling and they're like, I want to work on this, you know. But I feel like for the most, for the majority of you guys, it was an ending. And this person feels energetically like you truly slipping away from them and they don't want that to happen. So they're coming in for a passionate new beginning, Okay. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and clarify. Show me the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands, please. You have a lot of bright ideas. All of you, you know, your, your ideas are full of uh, fire and passion. That's what I was saying earlier. So the things that you are feeling fired up about, passionate about at this time, pursue them, do them, dive into them because you're igniting something very beautiful. Leo, strength, within 7 to 14 days. So for some of you guys, within the next two weeks, this person comes in and I believe it because that's the energy. Look at that. Right as I say that, you guys, you can't make it up. 18, bottom of the deck. It's the dog. It's all about loyalty, supportive energy. Um, you could work in the healthcare industry. This could be about like a pet. But this for me is definitely, um, it's a soulmate and faithful companion. So that's what it is. It's someone who is a soulmate and a faithful companion coming in. And as I'm saying all this, right, we get these, these two that fly out together. So it's someone tapping into their inner strength. Could be a Leo, okay? Um, but again, proving my point, look at this, you guys. Your wishes are coming true. This is that Neptune energy. This is that what Poseidon brings. It's the wishes of your soul. It's your destined wish fulfillments. It's what you've been calling in. It's what you've been summoning. It says wishes come true, peace, a miracle, dreams, falling in, love, hope, inspired, nighttime, and blessed. The stars have aligned. The stars have aligned in a big way for many of you. The child, this is all about new beginnings, brand new energy, spontaneous energy. Uh, it's just that, it's new beginnings. And then the letter J. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw one more over the top with the tarot and then we'll wrap it up, my love. So thank you guys so much for, um, for stopping by for all of your love and support here. Um, I send you guys so much love and support right back at you. 
Um, Four of Cups. Yep. This is someone who, definitely someone who, you're the one that got away. They're, they're upset with themselves for whatever happened between you guys um, in the past. They're upset that they, uh, that they rejected this love, this offer, this, this connection, you, they're, they're upset. Okay. But this is definitely their way of bringing balance in. Okay. So I'm actually going to be recording a love reading right now, um, for the, uh, soulmates and twin flames. Okay. Um, and it's, it's very much tied into this energy. And if you guys have been following along, you guys know. And if you guys are watching other energy readers right now on this timeline, like you guys know, it's very similar energies. Um, but anyways, yeah, beautiful reading, you guys, beautiful reading. So this is the fortune. This is your fortune being told right here. Great passion, big announcements, new events, stepping into new experiences, falling in love, blessed energy, fertile energy, prosperous energy, um, wish fulfillment timelines it's all of that okay so embrace this uh this 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 neptunian energy embrace where we're at right now and um and 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 thank your lucky stars for all that is coming in whether you see it now or don't thank it because it is it's already coming in it's already here and so it is right so i love you guys i thank you guys and i will see you again soon Mwah. bye my loves